Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super cute card for you guys using a couple different Lawn Fawn sets. I'll be using Meow You Doing, Bicycle Built For You, Mom Plus Me, and I'll also be using the Perfectly Plaid Rainbow 6x6 pad. So I've stamped out my images on some Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth White cardstock with my Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And I'm going to begin with my Copic coloring today. I'm using some warm grays to give my cat and my kitten some shadows because they're going to be partially white. And I just find it easier to do the white shadows all over first. Kind of gives me a guideline for the rest of the images. So I'm going to start with that W1 and just lay that in my darkest areas. And then I'll blend out with the W00, leaving the centers of the body white. I'm going to be creating some orange marmalade cats since those are my favorite. So I'll be using YR04, YR21, and YR23 for that part of their bodies. I'm just starting with that YR21 and kind of outlining where I want that color to be. I want to leave um, the feet and part of the face white. So I'm just drawing that in with my lightest shade and then I can go ahead and fill in the portion that I want to be orange. Then I can grab my YR23 and start to lay in my shadows. So along his back, since he's laying on it, there's not going to be any sun hitting there. I'm also going to add some around his face to make it look more rounded and along the backs of his legs. And then I'll just bring that color up a bit so it'll be easier to blend with my YR21. So again, just taking that and kind of scribbling that on in circular motions and just kind of making sure that that blends out nicely. Then I'm going to take my YR04 and start to lay in the stripes. And to do that, I'm just going to make little triangular shapes coming from the sides of his body using the very tip of my marker so that I can get a nice fine point at the ends. And I'm just going to add those to both sides of his face and his forehead and then up from his tail and the back of his spine. And then I also decided to add two stripes coming from the top of that front leg there and two stripes coming up from the bottom of his back leg. The kitten I'm going to color in the exact same color combo because I want them to look like they're part of a family. Although I will give him some different patterns so that he definitely has his own unique look. So again, I just blocked out the orange color with the YR21 and then added my shadows with the YR23, blended back out with the YR21, and now I'm going to add my stripes with the YR04. And he's not very big, so there's not a ton of room for that many, but I did want to add just a couple so that he looks consistent like the other cat. I'll use my R20 to give the larger cat a pink nose and pink inside his ears. And I'll also color the kitten's ears pink. His nose is already black, so I don't need to color it in. Next, I'm going to take four different colors of Lawn Fawn ink. I'm using Juice Box, Fresh Lavender, Bubble Gum, and Plastic Flamingo. And I'm going to take the three little flowers that come in the Mom Plus Me stamp set. And I'm going to stamp out a whole bunch all around the cat images so that I can die cut those out. I'm using my Lawn Fawn Stamp Chamois to clean my stamps before I switch colors so that I don't transfer any ink to the other ink pads. And then I will just fill up this entire white space until I have a whole bunch of flowers. I've die cut a focal panel using MFT snow cone cardstock and a green grassy hillside with Lawn Fawn's Noble Fur cardstock. And I've used the Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle stackables and Lawn Fawn simple hillside border dies to cut those out. Now I'm going to take some moonstone ink and I'm going to stamp out my sentiment. 
and I'm stamping out have a beautiful day and this is from the bicycle built for you set that the kitten was from I'm stamping just the word beautiful first because I want to nestle the other words around it and I did stamp that three times because I wanted that word to be accentuated then I can stamp the rest of my sentiment which actually reads wishing you a beautiful day and I'm going to stamp that down twice so it's just a shade paler than the word beautiful. While I have my Misty out, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the inside of my card. I'm going to use the Happy Mother's Day sentiment from Mom Plus Me. I'll also use the Kitten again from Bicycle Built For You and a different cat from Meow You Doing. And I'm just stamping those down in the Moonstone ink once again. And I'm going to ink that up a couple of times. I had a little bit of trouble getting the word mothers to transfer completely. So I just added some selective inking a third time to get that to be a little bit more consistent with the rest of the images. And once that ink dried into the paper a little bit, you couldn't even tell. So now I'm going to put together my focal panel and I'm going to start by gluing down my grassy hillside to the bottom of my sky background and I'm going to use some Tombow Mono Multi Glue. I love this glue because it gives you a little bit of time to be able to adjust so that you can align everything perfectly. And then I can go ahead and add my kitties as well and they're going to go on the hillside on the left there. And I've been calling them boys this whole time, but I guess since it's a Mother's Day card, they were girls. Although most mar orange marmalade cats are boys, I guess. I'm going to add in a couple of clouds that I die cut using the Lawn Fawn Spring Showers dies. Whenever I have a little bit of white cardstock left over from coloring images, I just die cut clouds out of them and then... Um, use up my scraps that way and I just keep them in a bowl so they're ready to use whenever I need them. So there are three clouds in that die set and this is the middle and small. So my idea for this card was to have these two cats kind of rolling around and playing in a field of flowers. So I'm going to dot some glue all over my hillside and then I'm going to use my pick me up tool to grab these flowers and just add them here and there until I have the whole hillside covered. So I'm just going to add a couple of dots at a time so that it doesn't have time to dry too much, but I'll keep adding until I've used up all my flowers. Some I'm going to layer on top of the edges of others and put them in little clusters of two and threes to try to give them a more natural appearance. I'm also trying not to put any two of the same color flower right next to each other so that the colors are kind of spread out a bit. I felt like the sky needed something extra so I'm actually going to pull in a fourth set. I'm using Critters at the Dog Park and I just stamped and colored two butterflies from that set. I did that off camera since there's no dyes for those butterflies and I had to fussy cut those and I just didn't want to waste too much time. So I decided to add this little pink butterfly right above the kitty so it would look like he's playing with it. And then I also colored an orange butterfly so that it would kind of tie into the cats and spread that color across the card. I got a little extra glue where I didn't want it when I was adjusting that pink butterfly, so I just grabbed my Xyron adhesive eraser and cleaned that up, good as new. I got that when I used to work at AC Moore, but they're available lots of places. I cut down a piece of that perfectly plaid rainbow paper with the Lawn Fawn zigzag rectangle dies, and I'm going to add that to my card base with some more Tombow Mono. And my card base is another piece of that MFT snow cone cardstock, just scored and folded to a standard four and a quarter by five and a half landscape style card. I'm adding some Scotch 3M foam tape to the back of my focal panel so that I can pop that up. And I'm just making sure to add enough to the back so that it's really well supported. Since this is going to my stepmom, I'm sure she's going to want to hang on to it and this should help it to last a good long time. 
I'm going to peel off those backer sheets and pop that up right over top of my card, just making sure that that's straight. I needed a tiny little bit of adjustment, so I'm just going to pull that up since I didn't push it down all the way, that's easy to do. And once I'm sure that it's straight, I can press that down into place. I wanted to keep this card on the simple side, but I definitely wanted to give it a little bit of glam since it's for Mother's Day. So I'm just taking my Spectrum Noir clear sparkle pen and I'm going to give my flowers and my butterflies a double coat of that. So it'll just have that really subtle, pretty shimmer when you tilt it in the light. And this stuff is notoriously hard to see on camera, but I'm going to tilt it towards the sunlight coming in from my window, and hopefully that picks up so you guys can see it. And that is going to complete our card for today. There's another peek at the inside. I think it turned out super cute, and I hope that my stepmom is going to love it. I think she will, though, because she loves cats. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And by the time this airs, Mother's Day will be over, but I hope you all had a lovely one. Here's an extra couple videos you may also enjoy, and you can always click on my photo to subscribe to my channel if you have not done that already. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.